Here's what you missed on the last episode of Red Lipstick Vibes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What you see ain't all what you see. You have to get to know these women. And these young girls nowadays, they don't care. They don't have no morals, no uh, value for themselves. They just want to be superstars. Be on the internet, be on the Instagram, be on love and hip hop, and all of that mess. It's just crazy. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna say if if we're running off uh, what she just said in the video, then I I do agree. But I will say that um, that's not just something that's just started happening. That's been happening forever, um, especially with men because we're we're more visual creatures than anything. So you know, uh, as it relates to women, you know, we see body or face whatever attracts you and sometimes we'll stop at no means to get it you know regardless of what we'll see the red flags and be like okay yeah i know she crazy you know what i'm saying i know uh she done sit here told me about three dudes car she didn't key because they did her wrong but i still want her you know what i mean like we'll just be like okay and we'll run the risk and sadly just because she looked good or we think she, you know think the sex is good we hit it raw, skid in them. Right. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, you had kids with the same crazy chick that you know you shouldn't have had kids with. But you're like, well, I mean, she pretty though. Like, you know what I mean? So, I I do agree. We we can't be kind of reckless. I think um nowadays too, it's a little more reckless though. Um, I think back when we were kids, like the early, you know, the early two thousands, late nineties. You know, we were still reckless, but we did kind of care a little bit. Like, these kids today don't even care about catching STDs. That's, like, the last thing on their mind. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they like, well, I just, or, you know, I just don't want to get babies. I'm like, what about STDs? They're like, well, what about them? I'm like, okay. Yeah, they, they live in a world, they live in a world where they can live, they can live with AIDS now. So mm -hmm. they figure they got, they figure they got the formula. Yeah. yeah look at Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. So right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right, not even realizing maybe it's just because he had a Magic Johnson. You see what I did there? You know yeah, what? I, see, I, see <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, I was just about hey, to magic bars. <laughs> Yeah, Magic Johnson money stretch a little further than ours too, so you know. Oh, man, that part. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> So. Now, for me, for me, it's a, I'm 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 a little different. I I think it's not it's not much different from the women. We absolutely are reckless, but I think uh, a lot of men haven't had the practice of saying no, sis. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I'm a sports person. I say anything you practice, you get good at. And you know, like like my brother just alluded to, my favorite cousin. Sometimes a big butt and a smile is just unresistible. Like I couldn't say no, and you don't know how many homeboys. Yo, it was four in the morning, the lights was low, the music, it, yeah, whatever. But like, look at it though, and, and and that's that's the difference. Some some men are just gonna see with a certain lens, and some some men are not. Some some men are not, but but again, I said that's why I think it's not much different from the women, but it's a little different because the women are the ones that can be left with the child for 18 to 21 years. The women are the one that can catch the STDs. The women are the one that can die on the delivery table trying to pass this motherfucker to the world. And again, I'm not going to say anything about women anymore. What I'm going to do is say, if I was a woman, it would be some requirements to go inside of me because exactly. of all of those things that I just mentioned and many more. So I'm so sorry that other women don't think like me if I was a woman, but at the same time, I understand that everybody's different, but with all of those factors put in place, I'm going to be a little more intimate and, you know, selective about who I let inside. But men can be absolutely reckless because they don't have any practice in saying no, sis. They say yes yeah, so much. And, you know, the women, they can hear something in the middle of engaging and say, wait, wait, what'd you say? And those panties will come right back up, like right in the middle. You okay? <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do that. Men don't do that. Well, I don't know why they don't do that. I don't think they know they can do that. 
Hey. But it's like, wait a minute, shorty. Mm-mm. But that's, you know, again, that's in you to see the value in yourself, to see that I have to have some selection and some quality control in what I allow into my life and into, you know, my private areas. Yeah, I yeah. think too. But the um, problem is, a lot of men, we never was taught how to vent for women. You only taught how to slide inside a woman. That's the only thing that most of us was taught. Uh, like I have homeboys today who have like uh, a sexual addiction. They can't stop having sex. Uh, it's like it's just it's like an ongoing thing, and it's sad to see because it's just it's a reality we live in today. Like um, like I said, and I love that zombie I made. But a bad chick walk by and she says she ready to get down. Chances are the man's gonna get down. If you and if the woman don't ask for to use a rubber. Chances are the man's not going to use the rubber. So he's not going to even ask the woman, hey, I'm going to put my rubber on. So it's just a lack of discipline. That's the problem. And like I say, it's just like what you got to say is very true. He's just reckless. Whole different generation. Yeah, yeah I, I have to say, we as men, we, we can be reckless at times. I mean, there are plenty of times in my youth where I would take my nuts and throw them on a dice table like, let's roll. <laughs> let's, 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 let's roll. Let's roll. What you got, girl? I, but, um, <laughs> I, I think, you know, at, at some point, some men, and I say all oh, men, but some men, you know, we, we learn to control that appetite because that appetite for sex and what comes along with it can be just as destructive as the pleasure that comes along with it. Mm-hmm. So, again, as time goes on, you learn to have that dick control, as they say. You learn to turn down some even though you want it bad, but you know the the price of the repercussions that come behind that just aren't worth it. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never see a man turn down sex. I never seen it. Nah. So <laughs> if man on this panel can say he it, right he here, he right here, oh, wow. many times. <laughs> Again, first, it's something that I had I had <laughs> practiced. Like I I went to an all white college. I played basketball, but I didn't like white girls. So when they coming at me, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm good. But I had a, a next door neighbor that had friends and just everybody ain't worth it, dog. Everybody don't. This is not magic. St- I don't share it with the world. This shit for real right here. So you got to have a little bit of qualifications and characteristics to be met, just like I have to. And for us to be able to have to be charismatic, to have all of the conversation, to pick the place for the first date, to have a car to take her, to have the money to pay for it, to get her back home safe. Like we are expected to have a lot of sophistication. She got to walk on the inside of the street. If it get cold, I got to be able to give her my jacket. So that mean I got to wear a jacket. Like there's so many things we got to know as men. We don't got to hold them to any anything no sort of a bar of she's supposed to have anything except a fat ass and some titties nah b i don't roll like that i i need i need something more and if you don't got that you might not get the stick and she's gonna climax with me that's another thing with a lot of men 70 percent of them don't climax so it's it's a possibility they might not climax with him and that's why he gotta buy shoes he gotta take her out because he know when it comes to that side, he's going to be on the short end of the stick. But with me, it's an even exchange. I got a nut. You got a nut. you back to zero. So you oh, got to come with something, man. And I apologize yeah. for being so long-winded, but I'm passionate about oh, you this. Good. Y'all are worth more, man. Y'all are worth Hey, look, I think, I think part of that comes to, um, you know, and, and running off what my man said, you got to think, too, as, as men, when we were younger, you know, we went up to the plate a lot of times and we struck out. You know what I'm saying? We strike out a lot. So it's different for women as opposed to they're the ones who get to determine who they let inside. Man, you got to go into the plate. And what happens is a lot of us, we probably won't start getting our batting average right till we about in our 20s. So where it may seem reckless is like, OK, you know, uh, you know, we, we've been in a slump for since since high school now you you grown you got a little something and now you're knocking them out the park so at that time it's like man shoot you know you 21 22 probably never had that many women in your life wanting to be with you so yeah you're gonna be a little reckless because it's like you know i've never had this success before you know what i mean as opposed to women who you know as soon as they start developing dudes that's your daddy age be looking at them like oh i want that so you know what i mean 
Yeah, I feel I feel a little, um I can feel where the fellas are coming from. For me, one of the things is I understood at a young age the power of semen retention. I understood it. Sometimes we as young men we carried semen retention as a as a thousand pound weight. Damn, I got blue balls. Damn, I gotta get my rocks off. Damn, I gotta, damn, I gotta, damn, I gotta. And it created a psychological level of scarcity, right? But I think the blessing is that I grew up around a lot of sisters and aunties. And I happened to be privy to a lot of conversations and I saw different things. And I think one of the biggest hustles that's ever been run upon the man is the hustle that we want it more than they do. So for me, part of my semen retention was understanding how to how to move and make good decisions, make the right decisions while still carrying that weight. But then understanding too, when I got into a situation with a woman, understanding that she may want it just as much or more than me and not doing it tended to put me in a in a better place of power not trying to make the move yeah. when she was just waiting for me to make the move sometimes that put her in a different position where she felt necessary to make that move and it might have been more decisive than the move i would have made so i think holding back also works to our benefit because what it does is it it, it takes away that specter of the desire for that woman and it takes it off the table and at some point she will reveal her desire remember she knew whether she wanted to smash you or whether she would give it up to you within the first you know couple of minutes of meeting you or less and all it takes is for you to do something to to take that away kind of like that college professor that tells you you start in my class everybody starts with an a what grade you get at the end of the semester is going to be determined by the work that you put in so you know you are the feature of your failure. So holding holding out, as long as you have dick discipline, you'll be able to do it. For some folks, holding out, utilizing dick discipline, it's going to be something like the dude going and <coughs> rubbing one out before the date. So he can spend the rest of that time without that specter of... of, of I need to excuse myself from this conversation. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's real talk, though. It's, it's straight up. It's straight up. Remember that movie? Yeah. Remember that movie, yeah, Something About that. Mary? Remember that? <laughs> you remember that movie, Something About Mary? You remember what, uh, what they told them was to rub one out before the date? Fire off oh, the morning right. shot. One mm -hmm. is so that you don't, you're not on that date super anxious. And secondly, if you do get some cutty, you know what I mean? You're not going to, you know... You're not gonna mm. uh breach your stay in power. Right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Semen retention is a science. <laughs> carry on. Sorry, yeah. Talk about That's it, Jeff. Big facts though. That's big facts though. <laughs> yeah, he will cook him. He will uh oh Hank here. Yeah, for the oh. win as usual. Oh. Big Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, Hank I don't hold no semen. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not talk to y'all. Can't say I say my goddamn name, man. Ronnie, <laughs> the speak, man. H I. -A -A. Hey, big brother. What's up, man? What's up, Jeff? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, son? What's up, What's up, What's up man? Man, what you eating up there, big brother? I mean, you look like you eating good. What's up, what's up? Big Hank, what up? What up, big bro? I'm chilling, man. You know, a little something, something, a little. Boy, he ain't good. You know, you got a good woman, boy. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's on, uh, my man? Uh, your favorite cousin? Cousin? Is What's going on, man? Cousin? Okay, are you doing? Yeah, yeah. doing I'll nice. be with Ty because Ty didn't want to send me the link. I would have been here a little sooner. <laughs> Ty didn't send me the link. I'm not going to go. She wanted, she wanted, she wanted you to practice retention. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being turned on by this great hair, though. That's what I'm, I'm being turned on by. So I, I got to practice big discipline. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another one of them peas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. Right. <laughs>